This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, as we start the show, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and I get a text from John, Jimmy DeMarco who says, I drove by your studio and saw it was loaded with Haas tonight, a real Haas pen. That's because this is the Haas pen to- takeover. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and holy shit, is it full. Yeah. There they are, the Haas men here. Uh, but first, of course, uh, hold on, we got to go down the line here. We got uh, uh, Ronnie Starks is with us in his Hello. remote location. Hello. 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 Also with us from Beacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. Fact, that is Mad Mike. Hi. Hey. Why, why, why didn't you introduce me first, Sork? Because, yeah, we're for shit, man. Because I did not select the right <laughs> shot in that order. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Uh, that's that right. Is... Ronnie got no special introduction. <laughs> that's wow. fine. You Patreon heard feelings, supporter man. right here. <laughs> Patreon supporter. Oh, you heard his feelings, so there's yep. that. All mm-hmm. right, moving on. We'll be we'll check the meeting later. Mainstream Matt is with us. He's What's pointing up, at the sign. Yes. Whoop. And yeah. supporting the Mayhem Mania Club. Mayhem oh, Club. I need to get me one of those. I can't. Even, I can't remember which site we sell that. We on. need a Patreon in the Patreon? bank shirt. We do need a Patreon in the bank shirt. Still waiting for uh, Carl and Doc to send their cease and desist letters. <laughs> <laughs> haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> uh, also down the line, joining us, new voices for you. Uh, Stevie I'm not LaBelle. Be you. I, I, I've been here like twice. You've oh, been you here twice. Rub it in. Well, you, you haven't been on this show, I don't think, right? You've been on the Indie Mayhem show. Ooh, I think. Yes. That, yeah, yeah. Yes, you've not been that. on the Wrestling yeah. Mayhem show podcast. Stevie LaBelle. Big ju- stuff going on. The Ronin that's, Judo. That's me. I have two movement up in the world. There you go. We have Jamie Jameson, the Country Hammer. Country first Hammer, time. First time. Brother. Pop in your Mayhem cherry. Yes, sir. Country, oh. Country Hammer is my favorite Nelly song. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, you had to come out Snort, to it now. Snort you dared me to, to say that joke to you <laughs> last night, so I, I, had to, I had to throw it out there. Also, the sexy fireman is back. Uh, Jason Tyler, how you doing? Man, yeah. I'm doing good. Sorry, how are you doing? And we're going to keep an eye on him because he's, he's sporting uh, producer Missy's headphones because we're running out of headphones. <laughs> Don't tell producer Missy. And also... The I'll survi- text her right now. Are you still going by the survivalist? No, no. That was actually a uh, misprint. That was a misprint? Yeah, that was a misprint. <laughs> Wait, what? That was, uh, that was a hooven going. <laughs> Philip <laughs> Archer is here. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. What? Yeah. So it's actually, it's always been just the survivor. So I need to stop writing that by your name. You see? Yeah. Hey, Got hey, it. He, he, uh, I didn't get the memo. Last week, you told misprint. me he was the survivalist. And I'm like, he's doing a doomsday prepper gimmick. And I'm like, that sounds interesting. I think I'd like to I see I mean, that. don't get me wrong. That was the idea at first. But like, we kind of just went with the survivor instead. That's very. It's, it's more, then, um, you know, you, you, you take it in so many directions. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so is your finish the tribe has spoken? Because nah. it should be. No. Oh, no. The, uh, oh. No, that's more of like the Isaiah Wolf type thing. Uh, mine is uh, mine's uh, Survival of the Fittest. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Do or die. Winner takes go. it all, so take it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Hossmen are here. <laughs> thank you, Soga. So, thank you guys for, for coming in here. Thank you, Sorg. Uh, all Thanks of you coordinating us. this and... <laughs> Look how well dressed they are, Sorg. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody is is well, well yeah. dressed. I'm, I'm like, usually, not everyone shows up this well dressed. No, we need to bring they're back. They're almost up to like main event level. Oh, we're the Hossman, right brother. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. looking good. We're the Hossman. Yeah, it's great. You know, I gotta tell you guys, I'm wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me, right? Like, I'm underdressed by my standards. There you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> and I got another text hey, from Johnny. Jim- you're wearing pants. I didn't. Think I can take them off. I mean, uh, that, I didn't think that was a requirement. That is okay. optional. That's a Troy Lord's rule. <laughs> the um, only person <laughs> taking their pants off tonight is going to be me. Whoa! As Whoa. long as I'm not in the room. As long as I'm not in the room. <laughs> it's not the first time. Yeah. It's not the first time <laughs> on that couch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, Judo, you want to switch chairs? No, I'm happy. 
happy. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Well, I will tell you, uh, uh, the uh, Philip Archer is in the uh, porn star seat. <laughs> awesome. That's where uh, Michelle James sat. Oh, I feel like you know. There you go. There you go. The well, official casting couch of Sorgatron Media Services. Yeah. Hey, hey. As long as like Super Hentai's juices ain't on this couch, I'm alright. Uh, right. uh, <laughs> I mean, I know he is King of Hogs, though. I don't, I don't need to know where that stain is. <laughs> and that is the fourth time we've lost and, and Judo that, for the night. That, that oh, oh. Different. It's gonna be all night. It's gonna be all night. I'm gonna make Judo. I love himself. it. I love it. This is the Wrestling Man Show. Please go check out everything at Wrestling Man Show dot com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform also check out the wrestling mayhem show super feed and other great great shows including the indie mayhem show we just talked with pb smooth over there about his uh new scholarship up at mercyhurst college in the as well as coming up this week is uh the the oh the conspiracy which i think is not a misprint uh miles monroe will be joining us on that and also the uh, monday mayhem wrap-up show where mad mike and i talk about how great our wives are going to wrestlemania so um <laughs> <laughs> and amongst other things and also you can hit us at that email address <laughs> good times at wrestling mayhem show.com 412-206 wms0 at mayhem show on the twitter and the wrestling mayhem show facebook page and group a lot of great conversations going on over there um and also you can join us every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern maybe i'll be playing some music for you maybe we'll just be having some hijinks while we're trying to get the google hangout to work either way we start going live with you over on facebook and we're streaming on so many other platforms for wrestling mayhem show sorgatron media including twitch twitter um youtube see i'm even forgetting all of them i'm still working on that linkedin page anyways uh you can go check out all that stuff and follow us but the chat room is happening over over on the Facebook page. Sorry, I don't know what my wife says. Please bring home double A batteries. Uh, okay. Uh, but, and this is what happens when I don't have a producer. I need to read everything out loud. So don't text me if you don't need to right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so and also you can support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show so many of you are doing that thanks to the upcoming patreon in the bank where you can take part in the uh in the mayhem mania shenanigans that we have going on here including our friends at the fan of the show level Bo Diggity! Woo! ed Berg, bobby fj town tina keys and team hammerfist our friends at the poppy club bradley brothers Dave Potter, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. I see you in the chat room earlier. Our friends at the Pizza Club level, Doc Remedy, the Wrestling Revolution.com, and at the manager level, OccupyProWrestling.com, Farnsworth Investments, and at the $21 just to say fuck you to the rest of Patreon is Mad Mike. Yes, sword, you got it right this time. Is that, is that what you wanted me to Mike. say? That's what the manager wanted me to say. So uh, and that's what you get for uh, that level of Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that one dollar. That one dollar. How petty I am. <laughs> he admits it at least, right? You know so. what? In fact, in fact, Sorg, Sorg, because I'm at the super manager level, um, right now, we need to call all Patreons the Heartbreakers because I am Tom Petty. Uh, Let's see what you did there. Wow. Wow. Right, right, I'm going to get some Patreon messages Ooh. on that. Oh, <laughs> What do we do when the Patreon uh, uh, contributors start feuding with each other, My, Matt? Uh, grab a pool cue, snap it in half, drop the parts on the floor, and let... <laughs> We're going to walk away. Right, take its course. Walk away. Or, walk away. Or just let them add it on Twitter. I think that's the equivalent. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very dark night. I oh, my it. God. The Twitter, the sharpest object of them all. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways a lot of stuff going on this week um including uh we talked we, we, we talked about this at length last night but good to see a friend of the show jay clemens um <laughs> get killed last night on monday night raw oh that was so funny <laughs> i think that was great i mean i think most of us in the room have worked uh, around him at some point right That's great I dude mean. great guy <laughs> so um it, it was it was a, a weird swelling of, of twitter as you saw him just nonchalantly earlier in the night and then everybody's like hey i know that guy <laughs> and then by the end of the night he's a seth rollins fans and get and i, I enjoyed the, the, the roller coaster of emotions was 
was like everyone going, hey, look, Jake is refereeing this random match on uh, Raw. How cool is this? Congratulations. And it's like, hey, congratulations, Jake. Hey, Jake's in the main event. Oh, my God. Jake just screwed up on, on national television. Wait, no, Jake didn't screw up. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, no, Jake's dead. You know, it's like. <laughs> and then just death by table. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, it, it, that, that was fun. That was fun. I mean, it was just like a. Fam- it's like that one time a, a strangely familiar referee got uh, punched in the face by uh, knocked out by Ronda Rousey. And we're just like, hey, that guy looks familiar, but I cannot tell you his name for the life of me. Uh, but you know, strange things happen around uh, Pittsburgh wrestling. Uh, but anyways, uh, so so that was an interesting uh, news item yesterday. Also, Samoa Joe wellness policy not what I expected. What what this is not was one thing? It? It's another. What what was it? Because I seen it this morning. And I was like, "What's he on now? <laughs> like, what's the changes now?" I mean, I don't like. like I, I, I so there was something about he got injured again, right? And I thought it was a concussion. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. I mean, because we've seen like people get other injuries and they need to get on some kind of you know steroid kind of yeah. thing to heal, and yeah. that gets messed up and comes up in a test, right? Yeah. Not to say anything about the build and physique of Samoa Joe, mm. but you're just like mm. steroids. He, he, he may have like, just not wanted to make a certain trip. What's that? He may have just not wanted to make a certain trip. Yeah, he could have just not wanted to go Saudi Arabia, but that seems like a weird way to do a first strike on something like that. I don't so. know though. I mean, like <clears throat> the way Saudi Arabia went last year. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't blame the guy. I don't yeah. really want to be stuck there. No offense to Saudi Arabia, but I don't really want to be well, stuck also, there either. Also, remember, I don't think people just go to Saudi Arabia for base pay, even like that the too, lower yeah. roster like that. I think everybody gets a nice little uh, okay. rumble in the desert bonus. I got you. So <laughs> Rumble in the desert. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I, I'm getting tired of calling it a, a, a Saudi blood money fest or whatever we oh. were calling it before. Oh. So. Saudi so be joking. Oh. Saudi so be joking me. All right. <laughs> I th- I still like this ought to be joking. Like, yeah. That is probably the best one, but we're try- I'm trying to mix it up. I'd, uh, you know, I'd watch that pay-per-view, but I have to wash my hair that day. <laughs> well, there's that, um, too. For, for, for the audio listeners, Ronnie is bald. That's the joke. It's a choice. Oh, he's, saying, he's showing you. He's showing I'm not you. saying I'm not saying it's not a choice. I'm just... That's the joke. No, mm-hmm. the joke is fuck that pay per view. That's what the joke is. Well, yes. Also, <laughs> that is also the joke. So, is, is anyone going to watch? Sorg, you said you're going to watch. I am going to watch. Because you like the fireworks. That's always what watch. gets me to watch. Too. I yeah. fireworks. fireworks? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Any show that I, I don't really have the option. <laughs> oh, I, I understand. <laughs> Mike is, you, don't, you don't have a choice. Mike is strangely I, mandated I, I, to I, watch I that. No. Yeah. As if, uh, as if it's his job. Um, like are the Hossmen going to watch it? Is, uh, is there going to be a Hossman uh, Rumble in the Desert Paper no, Party? Get together for a yes. lunch on a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. uh, what does a Hossman brunch look like? A lot of oh, alcohol. Yes. Pizza, pizza, pizza. That's what <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it sounds about right. Booze, yeah. pizza. And you know what? Some eggs. Everyone likes eggs. <laughs> I don't uh, like eggs. Uh, what? I just yeah, don't like yeah. What, what the hell is wrong with you? There's a lot wrong with me. How much time do we got? There's now There's dissension in the room. <laughs> <We have>, <laughs> How much time do we got? Over eggs. <laughs> it's okay eggs? if we got chicken wings, though. It's okay if we got chicken wings, though. I'll fuck up some chicken wings. All right, so we're, we'll agree on some chicken <laughs> wings. We just have to get a later evolution of the egg. There's, yeah, uh, speaking yeah. of chicken wings, before we get back, there's a little place like called Dad's I want to take you all to in Monroeville. Oh, you paying? It's, it's delicious. Dad's is delicious. You're paying? Wait a minute. Wait, Are you where, really going to pay? Wait, where is it at? Where is it at Monroeville? Because I think I've been there before. Is it, right, right, is it right across is... uh, McDonald's? Yes. I've been there before. Did you get the Calvo style wings? No, I got like some kind of sandwich. Well, you got to get the Calvo style wings, brother. It's delicious. Do we, uh, do we have a new sponsor? Are you sponsored by him, Ronnie? Uh, I go there enough, so it's okay. possible. Work on that. Get, get, get we're we're going to have to put that in a schedule, though. I'm, I'm, I'm always down for some wings. Definitely, brother. And if a uh, hoagie is what you're looking for, I strongly recommend Fat Cat Subs. Wait, what? Do you have a card here. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get you a did not, You did not clear this with legal. <laughs> yeah, that is that is not okay. Trying to get a sponsor. It's not like I'm. Here. It's not like I'm pulling my red man. I'll be like, hey, red man. You know, can you please sponsor my? No, you didn't. Wait a minute. You did it on the pre-show. <laughs> Shut up, Judo. 
look, if I start throwing condoms out in the entrance, like when I do my entrance, can I get sponsored by Trojan or Dude, something? Dude, that actually would be very good. Was there someone that was sponsored by Durex? It doesn't surprise me. I think that there was someone, I think at the uh, Black Label show I went to, uh, dude came out and I think his rash guard was direct sponsored. That's great. Really? Uh, well, we, we, you know, Joey Ryan was Pornhub's uh, official yeah. uh, so spokesman, wasn't it? I think, yeah. Something like, like sports, sports he spokesperson? Was like Pornhub's favorite wrestler or something So you're like telling that. me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, there is. I Like I said, there is a it's strange... pro wrestling. There's literally a chance for there, everything. There is strangely a lot of pro wrestling that's very familiar on there. All right, well, anyways, getting we off of, like, Pornhub, any tobacco product out there, <laughs> you know, like, want to sponsor, you know, especially Red Man, I do have a chewing tobacco He's, problem. He... <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me a problem if you admit it's a problem. All right, all right, it's a problem. All right, all right. It's a problem. So, so, so I just want to make sure, to, to recap here, Sorgan, you can switch along with me. Tobacco? Yes. What, what, yeah, tobacco? tobacco? Yes. 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 Condoms? Porn. Not sure. Subs? You forgot alcohol. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Alcohol. Okay, alcohol. excellent. Alcohol? alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Subs? Yeah, subs. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. There we, there we got the whole the whole sponsorship package That's, for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's literally everything anyone Jeez. would ever need. Those are your four basic food groups. Yeah. Well, what we need to do is we need to find a place that sells all four. Yes. Oh my yes. Yes. <laughs> it's so weak. Wait, wait. wait how did condoms just? Yeah, it's Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. What about? Yeah, it's, Walmart. It's Walmart in certain states. <laughs> No, it's Walmart's <laughs> not in Pennsylvania, basically. The Youngstown Walmart. Youngstown Walmart, come come at us. We'll put you in touch. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I can see. I can see it now. Next year's Super Bowl commercial. It's gonna be like Bill and Ted Lego Movie, The Hossman. All pulling yes. up the wall. Yes. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, <please>. Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody out there, make it happen. Absolutely. Like, all right, sirs. Here's your. Uh, Shaw, condoms, subs, <laughs> and alcohol. Yes. Go in health. <laughs> it's like the new equivalent of, of pulling up on the checkout line, which is the box of condoms and bananas, and just like <laughs> let the people's imagination go. We used to play we used to play a fun game up here when I was in high school. Oh boy. It was called Grab Three Items. Oh yes, I love uh, Grab Three Items. You go to Walmart late at night, you grab the three most random items you can think of, and uh we would we, the other three people would stand and watch and gauge the reaction of the cashier. <laughs> By the way, Vaseline, always a winner. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what else you get. Vaseline, always a winner. Rope and duct tape is also a winner. No, but no, but... Uh, I was thinking more of ropes, but whatever. Specific. That's too specific. You need See, you need like Vaseline, a pair of scissors, and a giant stuffed animal. <laughs> oh. A shovel and hefty garbage bags. <laughs> Again, too specific. You, you, need, you, you need to let. You have to be able to see the gears turn in their head, not just, oh, that person's going to kill someone. Like, <laughs> why does that person have a rubber hose and charcoal? You gotta what? let your freak flags fly, man. Exactly. I mean, we don't kink shame here, but you know, it's fine. No, not at all. No, no, no. I mean, in fact, we embrace the kinks. Um, and Tina is also very happy she has headphones and Junior is not around. <laughs> but as a, I hope your kids yeah. are, uh, I hope you put the kids to bed, uh, reminder of this episode. Hey, I want to strangely go sort of on topic here. Um, I, I was, I was, so this came, went around and I, I did watch a little bit of the big show, uh, Broken Skull Ranch today, where this came from. Um, the scene of the big show at Joe Manganello's uh, D&D party. <laughs> That was super cool, dude. That is that is awesome, and I yeah. think there's like there's a bunch of other celebs at this too, right? Like, what is this like something for YouTube or something? Wasn't like I Brad Pitt so. there too or something like that? Brad Pitt like, was at a D and D. Yeah, like there was a bunch of like random celebrities that are playing D and D. Damn this this is a like at least a monthly occurrence. Is it like Joe Manganiello yeah. has has tweeted about his affinity for D and D on? various occasions what the hell he's, yeah he's right having now. folks over to his wherever his mansion is in, in, in hollywood florida. clearly i think it's in florida, florida wherever the hell they are yeah and they just have folks over and it looks like just some cheese it looks like it's one thing an I award show in in joe manganello's den or wherever they're playing so what's that yeah. film I so said it's one game I always wanted to try, but just never never tried D&D we'll, we'll mm-hmm. you need you need a good uh game master 
Game Master? No, Dungeon Master. Damn it. I'm thinking I'm thinking Captain N. You can do um, it. So, I don't know what you're talking about. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Bunch of goddamn nerds. <laughs> I, oh, that's I, why I, I see action want, figures behind you, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Yeah, with, what's yeah. up? With that? That's different. That's a different beast. Wait, what is it? Oh no, 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 oh, no, Ronnie. What's what's behind you there, buddy? What are those uh, uh, those Nintendo movie action uh, figures. Wait, you literally have four suit foot soldiers. Yes, there's five foot soldiers. Five actually. foot soldiers. Uh, Shredder, Baby Turtles, uh, Splinter, and the uh, Movie Turtles. And there's a canister of news back here too. Jeez. Ronnie, that is fucking amazing. Oh, the uh, the cartoon turtles are here too. Oh, you know that is, what, you that know is what, great. Ronnie, Ronnie, you are my new favorite person. Yeah. Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, just go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you, Gito. All right, fine, fine. We're showing but off. Ronnie's up. Ronnie's fine. upper. Uh, <laughs> I have Lego Hogwarts next to me. Oh, here we go. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's showing their nerd dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to whip it on public, but here's my nerd dick. <laughs> God. By the way, yeah. I guess this is a this is a, a soft. That'll that'll get me some bookings. Let me whip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, you never know, man. You never hey, know. Hey, Lego death matches are a thing now. You don't know. That you is... know, honestly though, like stepping on like the two prong like little Legos, uh, like that's horrible. Uh, I'd, like I'd rather step on a thumbtack. Like yep. whoever Ugh. came up with that idea is just horrible. Like, um, I'm pretty sure every parent ever. I'm not a parent, and I've done it, but like Jesus Christ, like. <laughs> Whoever came up with that was just horrible. Yeah. Uh, by, the, by the way, uh, Joe Mangiel still needs to uh, star in the biopic of Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm yes. still throwing that out there in the world. He mentioned it like seven years ago. He has a great Macho Man impression. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. It still needs to happen. And Sorg, we should clip this out and send it to him. Oh, geez. Somebody make a note. Somebody make it. Remind me later, Mike. Um, <laughs> I don't have a producer this week. Um, <laughs> and Tina says dick measuring on WMS is an occasional thing. Yes, it is. We do. Except uh, metaphorical. Metaphorical. Yes. Oh, I was going to say, like, you haven't had Super Hentai on here yet? Like. <laughs> Not this show, technically. Oh. Uh, no, no, I think no. We did have him. I mean, on he show. is I King of Hogstad. Yes, and, like just, just he is. I do. Re- I still he remember. I still remember Super Hentai's um, MySpace page. I just had a picture of a condom as the background. <laughs> so <laughs> a condom wrapper. Like, that it, is that is great. Yeah, I mean. You have a fascination. Well, sure, he needs to make penis, sure his page was protected. Oh, no, I'm not talking about his penis. This I mean, like it's just his, like, acronym. It but tonight. it's just his acronym. Like, it's such a good acronym. Like, King of Hogstyle. Like, <laughs> he doesn't get announced as that, though. Yes, he does. <laughs> does he wear? Yeah, 2PW. Does he really? Yeah. Like, he wow. should. Wait, for real? Yes. I never I noticed that before. Attention. Papa Judo. You're over there. I got nothing to do with it. <laughs> so he's, it, it at least happened on one show. I'm telling you, I'm not losing my shit, guys. Go find it. I, I go, 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 go! Give me a link over on the Indie Wrestling Network. By the way, you can go check out uh, if uh, Super Hentai has been announced as King of Hog Style over at Indie Wrestling Network, Indie Wrestling US, where all the great Prospect Pro Wrestling shows are exclusively, as well as Renegade Wrestling Alliance, uh, Rise Wrestling with a Y, and uh, Black Diamond Wrestling, and so much more. More uh, breakfast with champions. <laughs> Somebody, uh, John Roden says, uh, "Hentai's hog for the horse horseman. Uh, <laughs> you can induct him. Um, I'm sure he'll dress, he'll dress up real nice. Um, but you can check <laughs> <I'd be> having <laughs> hentai." In the Hossman. Uh You could check out all that, including the inception of the Hossman themselves over there, Indie Wrestling Network, uh, Indie Wrestling US, and a lot of great, great content from around the Pittsburgh, West Virginia, Erie, Cleveland areas uh, uh, on VOD, on network subscription. Get your uh, seven day free trial to the network. Uh, over there at Indie Wrestling Network. Also, free stuff. There's a free stuff section. If you go under browse, somebody call her. Caller, turn down your radio. <laughs> Was that me? <laughs> um, but uh, it, I think it's that voice in your head, sir. But no, there is a there is. A, <laughs> you oh, hear the voice in your head? Hey. Uh, but there is a free section over there. So uh, we have multiple shows, including the first Prospect Pro Wrestling show and a few other select titles. Right now, limited time. The entirety of the first WrestleRex show is on there uh, in uh, in support of our friends over there having their uh, show come back to Pittsburgh this Thursday. 
which I think is going to have Matt Seidel featured, actually. Uh, so uh, go check those out. Lucha Fiesta that happened across the street, a part of that, and a lot of other great content and original content exclusive to the Indie Wrestling Network. <laughs> And including some stuff that we just kind of greenlit for some uh, some uh, pilots coming up here, too. They hope to announce if those go well. So we are continuing to create some stuff. And there's going to be more refs with Rigatoni coming up on there, too. So, hmm. um, yes. So go check that out. Thanks a lot. What a smooth transition. You like that? Good on you. Yeah, so I smooth. Might have been doing this for 702 episodes. Um, <laughs> smooth right there. <laughs> they don't always go that great. So, um, speaking of smooth, the Hossman here. For those uninitiated, and we've had you guys, a couple of you guys over on the Indie Mayhem show uh, before, but many of you guys, one of the guys out there, like I'm seeing names from all over the country in our Mayhem Nation. Um, can 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 you guys explain what what is the Hossman? Well, at 2PW, Marshall, uh, back in September, we did a uh, Survivor Series tag team match, and uh, Marshall Gambino got on the mic and said uh, something to the effect of, we don't always get the opportunities at some places, uh, but he's, uh, we're... Help me out, guys. (laughs) Tyler wants to Um, take a very... Very uh, very nice theatrical approach. Here's yeah. the essence of the Hossman. We're four giant dudes. We kick all the ass and drink all the boots. Okay. <laughs> I like that summary, Judo. Yeah. Uh, I, a- I was trying to be like the whole, like, the metamorphosis of the four yeah, Hossmen. Yeah, you're, 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 whole... you're all backstory. All sweet the about whole... it. <laughs> Look, I... Get yeah. to the meat, Tyler. Okay. We drink <laughs> and we... And yeah. We just We're- drink. We're the we're the big badass guys who kick ass. That's, yeah, that's who we are. The four Osmonds. We got the yep. sexy fireman. He's especially this upcoming Saturday at Two PWs Once in a Leap Year. Yeah, I can plug things too. <laughs> hey, From what I've heard, sexy fireman is there to clap cheeks and beat some freaks. Yeah, that's what I hear. Oh, that. that's a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, definitely put it on. <laughs> that's a t-shirt. t-shirt to wear home for Easter. Oh yeah. So I really hope my mom doesn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> if you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excellent, Country Hammer. This is your first time on the show. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't think people. Uh, Phil's been talking the whole time. But uh, <laughs> so, sorry, I like to talk, guys. I apologize. I see. I see you're the spokesman tonight. Uh, I'm sorry. So, Country Hammer, you've been you you've been doing a lot of stuff. You you were um, involved in a. a Horrific last man standing match, for instance, this year. Um, uh, what's the country hammer about? Just like I said about the hospital, big big man who loves to beat ass. Uh, I like doing the hardcore gimmick stuff, mm. as you've obviously seen in the last man. A standing lot match. of bloody Jamie Jameson pictures. That is my deal. That's what I like. Uh, my family necessarily doesn't like it. My mm. fiance doesn't like it, but. That's what I'm about. I, I'm looking looking for more hardcore, ultra violent death matches in the near future. <laughs> Wait, hardcore, ultra violent, ultra violent death matches. That's what that's what I'm looking to get into in 2020. Really? Yes. Okay. okay. Really? Whoa. <laughs> who who were you watching when you were growing up that put these thoughts into your head that you had? To <laughs> who meet? influenced you? In these well, where, 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 who, what what wrestler put these terrible thoughts into your? Have head? you been hanging with G Raver? <laughs> No, I have not, but I, that is a guy I would love to work. Cool. Mm-hmm. I would love to work mm-hmm. G Raver. I say I I agree with I agree with that. Yeah. That'd be, yeah. Um, um I just don't want to have to clean up after it. But really yeah. what started it all was just watching backyard wrestling when I was real young mm-hmm. and getting into backyard wrestling myself. Uh I I did the crazy stuff in the yard. Uh that's just been my my deal for a very long time, but as you you asked about uh who who I watched Nick Gage, Matt Tremont, all them guys. Hey, Ma- uh, Matt, Tre- right? Matt Tremont's a friend of the show, by the way. Is he? Cool. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to work Matt Tremont, Nick Gage. Uh, Atticus Coger's getting into it. Mm-hmm. That's pretty sick. I'd love to get into that. Excellent. Excellent. So, so Jamie, I got to call you out here because I know you, you have been tweeting, you've been Instagramming about uh, you've been losing some weight here. Yes, sir. I, are you concerned about uh, your your new svelte physique will uh, 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 disqualify you from the hospital. No, I'm going to be uh, starting to bulk back up. I'm looking to build more muscle this time around. Okay, than fat, okay. This is so. just a transitional. Right. 
So, so you know, just a little country mallet phase before we get back to country hammer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. That's the second but, time I heard that. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I was being original. <laughs> nope. <laughs> So uh, yeah, no, we saw you uh, of course at the last two PW show um, against uh, Corbin Bourne, also yep. really talented guy. First time I've seen him in action, other than a tag match I think a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so looking forward to see you guys' tag match this weekend involving him, and I believe Remy's coming back, isn't he? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, um, so tell me, tell, t- tell me a little bit. So what what do we got to expect this weekend? You guys are all involved in matches uh going on here let's say you have a tag match you guys have a tag match going on yep yep so um tell me a little bit about that background with corbin uh well originally it all started through facebook i seen him he was picking on dan hooven so i decided to add my way into there and then that transition into a whole nother story me and him were going back and forth back and forth back and forth and I, i've kept my eye on corbin since he started training at the iwca mm-hmm. and uh i don't know why i kind of liked him but just seeing the paths he's been going with the culmination not a big fan anymore uh getting to grab a little bit of heat back and forth on facebook like i said he stepped foot into my house 2pw it's the wrong move it's the wrong move stepping into my house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he he learned that lesson because I dropped him on his head, and he ended up backing out and being a little coward. And that's leading on to me and Tyler here. We're yeah. doing a lot of tape study for this match, right? Yeah, we we watched a lot of Jeepers Creepers in the Grudge. <laughs> trying to get our mind. We, listened, we listened to a lot of like mid two thousands rock, like Day to Remember and stuff like that, trying to see what makes them tick. We're ready for them. Yeah. We are. Yeah, we even we even we even stepped foot into Hot Topic once. Oh, okay, all right. Oh <laughs> man, you're getting crazy there, bro. Yeah, you you're, got some, you're pushing uh... them barriers, man. You don't want to go down that path yourself, man. Like, they get, gotta, you can get me worried. They got to get ready for us. They got to go to CC's or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure the crow is on that playlist. Yeah. <laughs> don't go, don't go too deep down that hole, that's, though. That's yeah, gets that's you in trouble. Cool. I'm just waiting for sexy firemen in the distressed skinny jeans. <laughs> hot topic. I'm hot topic Woo. specials. It'll be a cold day in hell before I wear man, skinny jeans. Man, too bad it's not the Jinko era, isn't it? Oh, uh, good old Jinko jeans. Yeah, man. I saw. I swear, I saw somebody walking down the street in Jinko jeans. I'm like, what? What year is this? Wait, wait. Papa <laughs> Chudo's got his hand up back there. Are you? You still have Jinko jeans? <laughs> Didn't they bring them back recently? Uh, is they it, are they back? Yeah. Are they back? Let's just all wear Jinko jeans to the show. It's, I mean, it's... the site is still active. You can oh, still geez. go and get them. I'm going oh, on Amazon geez. right now. To look He's going to Amazon right now. <laughs> I, I'm just waiting. I know someone WrestleMania is going to be wearing them and pull like a Jinko Kanrana or something like that. Oh, my <laughs> God. They're, they're back. Oh, everybody's everybody's going to be yeah. start dressing like the Hardy Boys again on the Indies. I mean, like if we... Orange Cassidy put on Jinko jeans he would just be the legs <laughs> <laughs> absolutely like, like you see his hands sticking up out of the top of them to go in the pockets oh, <laughs> they're back so they're they back. are they're back they're back and they're coming to ronnie's home oh i'm not buying those fucking things <laughs> that's why buy them they're expensive yes. man they're like 200 bucks right because it's a lot of jean <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fabric. It's a lot of fabric. I mean, you know, if like, denim has to die so you can have those. Yes, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta kill a whole dem and denim cow. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the official pants of the Super Mario Brothers. Official pants of the Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> hey, you know why, Sork? Hmm. There's so much denim, 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 oh. denim, denim. Oh. Oh. <laughs> damn it! Oh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I'm gonna try. I got a, I got a big question. I know we're not doing a big question as much, but I have a big question of sorts for the Hossman because mm-hmm. the obvious influences. You guys throw up the four sign, of course. Yes. Uh, but there was a hot take that I heard about as we uh, talk about our, our good friends at Slice on Broadway. I think this is gonna be official because they they always bring up a, a subject to me every week when we go pick up our pizza for the show. And and it's usually about wrestling, and and I kind of want to bring <laughs> bring that conversation up. So apparently today, um, Mark Madden. If you guys aren't from the area here in Pittsburgh, Mark Madden is still on our drive home radio on the X. Uh, yes, Mark Madden. That was the announcer back in WCW. 
in the dying days of WCW. Um, it's true. It's true. It's not a slight on his position there. Um, there were still good is. matches, though. Yeah, yeah. And I got, lot, great, I got, I got a lot of respect matches. for Mark. We worked with him on a, on a few projects and in uh, wrestling projects, and, and he's always a, a super, super good for that. But he's got his hot takes. And uh, our friends at Slice on Broadway, go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. Support in Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Four locations and looking, uh, I, I presume, looking to expand. So uh, if you got a Broadway in your town, hit them up, PJs underscore slice on the Twitter. Uh, but he's letting me know. Apparently, Mark Madden was on there talking about how uh, Rick, the, just, I mean, there's a statement as I was told. I, I have not verified this, but. Um, I think it's 109DX, isn't it? No, 105. 105, 105 yeah, you got it. This is how long I've listened to radio. Uh, it's, it's been a while. Uh, everybody should just be listening to great podcasts like the Wrestling Mayhem Show and other fine Sorgatron Media products. Uh, but he had a hot take that Ric Flair is the best athlete of all no. time. Oh. Best oh. athlete Rick, of Rick all Flair time. Ric Flair wasn't the best athlete in the horseman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. He's smart. Um, idea given and, and, and expand upon that. Um, apparently, um, to have done the matches he's done and to be good at all those matches that he's done, he is the best athlete. Now, I have a take issue with this because you're putting him next to <sighs> MMA fighters, baseball, basketball, football, Pick anything from the Olympics. Uh, mm-hmm. um, I so I think he is one of the best wrestlers, one of the best athletes in wrestling. Yeah, but it's not all just about athletics. I was gonna say, are you sure yeah. he wasn't like specifying just in wrestling, or is he talking? Or was the comment like the best athlete? Yeah, the like comment, in general. The like... comment is apparently Ric Flair, as I am told, best athlete. Period. <sighs> This is going to that, be a thinking drink. That, a thinking drink? What you, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that is a Jesus. big uh, bottle of Jack right there. You can keep that over there, Judo. Damn, Gumi. <laughs> Jeez. 1982, everyone. There you go. Yeah. Oh. What, what, what kind of, like, okay, what, what made Flair great wasn't his athleticism, though. No. No, not at all. No, so. no. It he, was could, like, he could go. I mean, oh, absolutely. It, it almost seems like it's silly to even kind of, like, you don't have to prop up flair like that yeah because he's flair is you know charisma and promos and psychology and all that other stuff see that's what gets me on flair like nothing against like his in-ring skills at all but like the thing that got me so intrigued with flair is how he would talk and like draw you in in the promos Mm -hmm. like just his mic skills were just phenomenal yeah like one of the best ones like even now but like back then in that era was just on top of his on top of the game yeah, what, promos. what Phil's saying is pretty much 100%. Uh, athleticism, on the other hand, I don't think he's the top athlete in the world. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's just the truth. Well, there you go. Like, like, you can't even name me an iteration of the Horseman where he was the best athlete in the horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, like that. That's just like, I like. I'm thinking of all the iterations of the Horseman, and there was always like either. Uh, um, like, oh God, and now I'm blanking on names. But there was always like, um, like a Dean Malenko, mm-hmm. way yeah. better. Like even Mongo. I'm gonna say Mongo's a better athlete than Ric Flair was. Oh my God, what? there it is. Oh, oh. I'm gonna say it. That's hot take. Oh. That's what we Mongo was hot garbage, man. I... I, whoa, whoa. They, they say he's not even the best athlete in his family. That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh wow. Well, you know, you know, uh, you know that I can get there's, behind. I can get behind that take. There's the merit uh, to that. Yeah. There is some merit for that take. Yeah. Wait, what? What was said? That Ric Flair isn't even the best athlete in his own family. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte, Charlotte's the best athlete in that family. Oh, by it. Uh, yeah, like, Rick yeah. even says Charlotte's a way better athlete than he was. Yeah. Char- way, way better athlete, but perform like. Promos and stuff wise, though, like, I gotta give it to Rick. Though, like, don't get me wrong, oh, like, right, that, right, right, that right, girl right. can do crazy she, stuff, and she is great. And she has about like seventy percent of his storytelling acumen, yeah, and like a hundred and fifty percent of his physicality, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's Charlotte Ford is is the 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 the, ca- the 
chemical formula of Charlotte Flair. <laughs> like, no, are we going to do uh, Scott Steiner math for Charlotte Flair's athletic oh, ability? Oh, I think I just did. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, I think I just so did. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, the great thing about Charlotte is that she's still improving. Yeah. She's not close to a finished product oh, yet. Yeah. So how quickly can she okay. acquire that skill and get close to how many, where her father was when it came to all those intangibles? How many years? And still retain enough right. athleticism that she could be having like the greatest women matches, period. Like, like where was seen. Flair this far into his career? Where she's at right now, right? Like... And again, the, the the platforms are much different. You have to draw comparisons between WrestleMania, WWE Network era. She's had like, you know, 10 championships already versus that era. You, you can't go by that number. But still just uh, relative popularity in the wrestling uh, as it existed in that area, era. Oh, you, you're looking this up now, aren't you? You're looking up the, the You Ric see, Flair. this is tricky, though, because cause Charlotte started late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yes. All right. So even but, though I just okay. looked it up, I just okay. looked it up. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, she's 33 years old. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, now we're gonna figure, figure find out what what Rick what slick Rick was up to when he was 33. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I would more go just by you started training this year. Yeah. Or you started officially, fair, but... or you debuted this year. This is how many years in Flair is or Charlotte is how many years in like five years for Charlotte. Does that seem about right for active? Now you're pulling Steiner yeah, math on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> 33 and third. We're, we're going to go chance. get the whiteboard I, I on the break. Yeah. <laughs> I think Rick at 33, that was like around his feud with sting. Really? Yeah. Surfer sting. Okay. okay. I, cause I think he turned 71 today. So go back about 40 years. That's roughly. And Mike is the uh, engineer of the group, so uh, I'm going to believe his math. Yes, yes. You you are the, I believe, the only one in this room with an engineering degree. But the real question is, though, is like, is she ever going to outlive his shadow, though? That's the thing. Like you, ah. you, you can compare like what they're at. I like she if, has. If she no, if she stops trying to be him. Mm. See, that's well, what gets she, me. Okay, she's okay. always gonna try to be like her father, though. That's yeah, the yeah. thing. Well, as long as she's in WWE, she will. Yeah, she will always be Charlotte Flair and not just Charlotte. Yeah, always. And she has no reason to leave Very at true. this point because Very she's true. she's kind of the John Cena of the women's division at this point. Oh, she's the Roman yeah. Reigns. The Roman Reigns. She's the, the Roman, Roman Reigns. Reigns. Ah well, Ro- uh, Roman's kind of the John Cena of this era, so yeah. I, I think that's oh. a hot take. Whoa, no, really? <sighs> oh, really? Agree. You don't see I that? Don't know. I agree Nobody? with Sword Judo. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Sure. I don't know. I'm pretty like sure John Cena is still the thing. John Cena of this era. I we like we liked Roman at the start of things. Yeah. Not as not after the Shield split. Uh, there was possibility. There was possibility. All they did with Rowan was take everything cool that was in the shield and put it onto one guy. <laughs> he was just the last guy from the shield at that point. Right, go. right, right, right. That's <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Get the all popcorn right. ready, guys. It's getting hot in here now. It's getting hot. All right, all right, all right. Here, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help um, Mike with his algebra here. Uh, Charlotte's seven years in. Uh, when uh, when Rick was seven years in, it was 1979. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're gonna okay. see what Rick was, was that, up to. When, when was the plane crash? I, uh, no, I'm working on it. Playing, I thought we were doing ages. Come on, re- research. No, we're we're, we're, we're no, I, I I was I was initially gonna do it with the ages, but I don't think that's a fair comparison because no, Charlotte so got a late start. Oh, okay. So we're gonna see how Rick Age where Rick career. was seven years in since Charlotte's seven years in. Yes. Right now. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. If she had done zero towards wrestling until she started trading yeah with um that's right the wwe fcw yeah but even even with the seven years in though you gotta look at how vastly different the wrestling is and i consider that i would consider that because like it changed so much since what'd you say 1979 Mm -hmm. compared to seven years in now Rick was not yet a world champion in 79. He didn't win his first world title until 83. Oh, no, 81, 81, 81. Okay. All okay. the old timers are screaming at me right now. So he. Oh, damn, whippersnapper. Don't you remember George Hackenschmidt? Oh, you're not getting invited to the Cauliflower Club. Cauliflower Alley Club, sorry. 
Dang it. Now I'm not getting invited. <laughs> Damn it. Thanks, Matt. Hey, Judy, you um, yeah, yeah. So I guess the point is, I mean, I mean, obviously it's very different now than it was back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a long road to hoe to make it all the way, you know, to the top of the card. But um, if Charlotte can continue, and that's another question too. Like, I'm, probably not a fair thing to say. I might get Christ, killed for this. But you know, female side, women com- women performers in side WWE sort do not last a long time. No, no, no. no, no. They seem the to they seem to transition out very quickly. Very mm-hmm. So I mean, if Charlotte kind of stays kind of and and, and has a very long <laughs> career, <laughs> don't do that. Then you know, also, who knows what she can do. Yeah, Ric Flair plane crashes in '75. <laughs> And okay, then, so and we're well and, past and, the plane crash. And then, as you, you know, it adds to. Well, I mean, if, if you, even if you add a year, he still hadn't been. Listen, a world listen. Player. If Ric Flair didn't have a plane crash where he broke his back, maybe he can do the reverse bridge figure eight thing that Charlotte did too. Maybe I it was his idea. Really doubt that. Maybe it was his idea. You don't know how flexible he would have been. But then you also got to remember too: Would Charlotte have got anywhere that she has without his name? No, right. She she wouldn't even be in the business. But, she was like she was like a volleyball a volleyball player and a basketball player. But I, mean, I feel like she would have got into it because she went without like just Charlotte. If she was just a name and not really performing very well, she'd just be Natty Nightheart. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorg's exactly right. Sorry, Natty. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, she does at least got like a decent discus. <sighs> okay. I like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I so do I. I. Yeah. I think she wrestles fairly well. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. I mean, she's good at just stories and stuff. Just doesn't really. I mean, you ever like? I I feel like. I mean, for one thing, Natty's been around for a long time. Yes. Another thing too, you've ever seen like some of the stuff she was able to do when she was even younger. Mm-hmm. When she would, I, I I've seen clips of her chain wrestling like fast, like really, like as fast as any wrestler you've ever seen, mm-hmm. you know, just transitioning from different moves I'm not saying on Billy, like I'm just saying success and in, in, in everything, you know, I, I mean, she's yeah. not getting the WWE train behind her, and, and she's uh, maybe not as crazy good as Charlotte is. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And we've driven him oh, to drink. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Well, on that note, now that we've <laughs> Severely riled the internet. Uh, throwing Natty <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, we are going to take a quick break. You're going to hear from uh, Dutters on the line here, and uh, we will be back. And we're going to have the Hossman Mania edition of Mayhem Mania, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All four. All right. We'll be right back after <laughs> this, guys. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. This is Marshall Bull Gambino. And this is delicious Jimmy DeMarco. And you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show exclusively on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, bitch. It is the Mayhem Show and everybody's spitting mad. Uh, we are getting ready for Mayhem Mania, but I just saw a story come across my Twitter. Uh, producer Missy and, and, and the Dutters uh, were actually sharing this out, it looks like. And according to Mandatory.com, as I scroll past all these ads, um, apparently an attorney for G-Raver um, over the Jim Cornette t-shirt issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, yes. Um, the attorney for G-Raver files for a motion to dismiss the federal lawsuit by Jim Cornette to G-Raver. Do Can I wanna, say who it is? Do you want to... Then hold on. Do you want to guess who the attorney is? Because apparently... We're I know who the attorney oh, is. Oh, I, I know, know who it is. is. Let it be the gavel. It is, it is the gavel, the gavel oh, David oh, Lawless. Oh, damn. Love it. Uh, maybe you don't know from from listening to uh, his conversations on this show, but uh, he, he is an actual lawyer. Yeah, he is a shoot lawyer. He is a shoot he's lawyer. He's good at it, too. He's mm-hmm. a very good lawyer. He will shoot on you. He's, yes. Um, it's clearly the greatest he thing is, I've heard. He, he is named... Um, Oh, geez. And I, there's another familiar name in here, too. So, uh, yeah. So he, he's named in this mandatory article, and that is for real. And he's making a motion, and this is in wrestling news. This is real life. Also, as I know I know, Regina was saying multiple times as this was shared, about Mayor Bill Peduto was on WrestleZone for his appearance at KSWA. Yeah, because he turned heel. Because yeah. he, he, he turned yeah. heel, and he's, uh, he's uh, Bike Lane Bill. It's goddamn Bike Lanes. <laughs> God damn bike lanes. It was a great moment. It was a great moment. Uh so uh anyways. Uh it I'm is really time. sorry. I can't stop banging the 
table tonight. Hey, you know, it's okay. There's a, a lot going on. That's I'm fine. I'm working on it. Do people know? Hey, you that's how you take out I'm your still anger. only it's the okay. fifth most misbehaving person in this room right now. The fifth most? Because of the four hospitals <laughs> being here. So you know, the the fifth trash Jamie, drummer Jamie won't get off his Jamie fucking won't. phone. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm off of it. I'm off of it. Jeez. It's still in your lap. You're going to be right back on it. Put it on the table. Put it on the table. It's going to be right back. Yep. Sorry, I bore you, Jamie. <laughs> First time on uh, on Wrestling Mayhem. Here, yeah. here he is. Can't, can't even, uh, can't even uh, show sort like the appreciation that you want to be here. Good. No. It's going to be your last time. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Yeah, guys, are hey, gonna look hey, at my hey, porn hey, stores hey, on Instagram. Hey, hey, I own the G Raver shirt. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. own it. Yes. Nice. I, you know, you know what I have, Jamie? You know what I have? I have the only Watch the World Burn. G River hoodie, really? Ooh. Yes, I do. Yeah, remember I traveled with him for like eight years. <laughs> Isn't he also the one Man, that does all your tattoos? I yes. feel bad for anybody out there that doesn't like mouth sounds listening to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mainstream Matt, bring us home with Mayhem Mania. <laughs> Grow up. All right. Um, all right. Sorry, sorry, Matt. I'm only 20. You know, you know it's, it's you, a you, good... you know what I like to say. Sorry, I, I'm going to really take my time tonight to really explain this. Explain this as you would to a child. Uh, okay. Oh! okay. So, so it's wow. layman terms. For, okay, I got you. What, what do we got? Okay. What do we got? Here we go. All right. This is a little game we play around this time of year. It's called Mayhem Mania. Okay. Let me take out my dip. Let me get serious. <laughs> it's kind of a competitive thought experiment. Okay. The goal is we're trying to create the best WrestleMania card possible. We're, we're, great to, we're, we're trying to prove the maximum potential of the current talent that Vince McMahon's disposal right now. Not the crap he's going to give us in real life. We're trying to create something even better than that to kind of show him up, right? So what mm. we've done, for starters here, we're working on like an eight-match card at this point, okay? All right. Each one of you will get a chance to make one single change to this existing eight match card. You can either take one person out, bring in another person. You can take an entire match out, bring another match in with all new people. And you know, you can do you know one on one, two on two, three way. You know, you can get a little bit carefree. Don't try any like twenty five man battle royals. That's oh, that's much. boring. Can't do that shit. All right. Um, or you know, you know, one for one within the card, you can do something like that too. You can add, you know, you want to make them one on one, a, a three way. You can add another person or another team to this uh, card. You can see what that. Do. Yes, question. Okay, Go ahead. so can I make like a change that's like taking one person out of one match, putting in the other, and then putting somebody else in the, that spot where that gentleman was? Yeah, you, like for example, if you wanted to take Swords Boy Elias out, yes, you could just get rid of Elias, and you could be like. I want, you know, Dan Hooven, and you could just drop Dan Hooven in there. But we're not going to do that because, you know, we try to just try to keep it to the. No, I mean, like, yeah. like say, like for example, like say I take Elias out yeah. and put Devlin there. Can I put somebody in Devlin's spot as well, or is that technically? If two you turns? wanted to do that, yeah, that, that would count as two moves. But what you could do, you could just take Devlin and Elias and have them switch places. You could just uh, do it okay, like that, okay, and then you okay, kind of okay. leave a mess down there. But it's not your problem. Someone else is mess to clean okay. up. You know, so you don't have okay. to worry about that. This is just one week. This is part of a process. You know, okay. this is like an eight week, nine week Rough process, process. Sorg. Feels like three or four months, five years, something like that. It's been a long time. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna do, um, in a moment, each one of you will get to do this. And like we say, um, anyone Vince McMahon can use, you can use. So I mean there is a a uh, an envelope that can be pushed a little bit, but don't guys bring in any like AEW or New Japan guys or anything like that. They're under contract to another company. Vince can't do it. You can't do it. But like I said, there is some flexibility there that you can work with. Um, however, there are s certain individuals that you cannot use because we have this little gimmick here. This wheel. Um, this is uh, we lovingly refer to this. Hold on. So what you're telling me is I cannot use Judy Bagwell. Damn. I'm not saying that. Is she alive? She's Probably. Oh, yeah. We'd have to check to see if she has a pulse. We'll have to check the pulse. <laughs> um, this um, little wheel here we lovingly refer to as Space Jail. Uh, everything that, Every name that's in here has been uh, locked away. Either through this process, we've awarded people the opportunity to send people through the Forbidden Portal into Space Jail. So you cannot use The Undertaker, Randy Orton, oh, no, Miranda Lacey Keith. Evans, We L C. That's not your problem because you don't have to worry about that till later. Bailey, Triple H, Ronda Rousey. Did I say that already? No. He's starting okay, with Undertaker. Undertaker. Excellent. All right. But 
um, we do give um, people who are in Space Jail a chance to escape Space Jail. We spin this wheel one time every week. Um, we are hmm. three times someone has escaped from Space Jail. One time Space Jail has remained secure. So already this year during Mayhem Mania Sorg and everyone else, John Cena has escaped from Space Jail. Bobby Fish escaped from Space Jail. <laughs> And Enzo Amore escaped from Space Jail. So that's mm. kind of what the deal was doing. So anyway, let's get this over with oh real quick. We're going to spin the wheel. We're going to see if anyone escapes Space Jail tonight. Dun, dun, dun. Oh! No! Did it? Yes. Lacey, Lacey Evans has escaped, has space escaped from Space Jail. Wait, who? Lacey Evans oh, oh, boy. Like boy. Poker has anyway. escaped from <laughs> Space Jail. All right. Yeah, we go and All right, that's great. So, on, Lacey Evans is at your disposal whoa, now. But whoa, the rest whoa. of these folks, you can't use them. Sorry to oh, I know. I know. I, I'm just joking with you. Um, guys, uh, unfortunately, I believe Judy Bagwell has passed away. Oh. Uh, pour one out for Judy Bagwell. Oh, so, I guess she's not going to be on a forklift after all. Okay. All right. Well, that's very sad. We'll put the real damper on things. Um, anyway, um, okay. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, the... Um, we're going to have five people here making moves. Nope, Brandon has already told me what his move is going to be, and then we'll just nope, go down I'm the driving. line. So I'm we'll driving. Go. Nope. Brandon will go Jamie, first. you can take my shot. Um, sword. Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send and then the, the order will play. I don't even think they're paying attention to me. This is like a kindergarten class yeah, sword. They're passing oh, it right, right now. Yeah. I'm not giving um, up. Pass it that uh, way. Okay. Actually, this may be a actually different... you know what? I think I could use a drink now. Would you mind just like popping me off too? <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, just, give no, Matt some of the good. Have you ever drank in Mayhem Mania? Just give me a little sip there. You know, we're wow. in the, that's enough. That, that's enough. Oh, I'm oh man. an honorary Hossman right there. Look at it. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorg, Sorg, I know you need to top off oh, over Matt, that. Matt is the tiniest Hossman. I respect Hossman. you much more now. Yes. Well, I yes. respect you more than Phil because he wouldn't drink. I'm driving, okay? Oh, well, I, I, know, I, know, well, I, I don't drink and drive. That's Good. the rule. Now Sorg's going to start Sorg drinking. Drink. Here we go. Now, we now what happens when this goes down? Anyway. Oh, boy. Like I was saying, give me guys. Jamie, we don't need you breaking out the straw, okay? That's 82. <laughs> all right, all right. Good stuff. I feel great now. I feel fine. This is great. Great night. This is going to be um, a great show. So um, anyway, our awesome first player, care. Brandon, he contacted me earlier today. He's one of our regulars. So I took his move. I'm going to announce it here in a moment or two. And then we'll just go down the line. And it'll be Judo, and then it'll be Jamie, and then it'll be Sexy Fireman, and then it'll be Phil. And that'll be how things go. And now, Sorgi. I will recap the card as it stands right now. Are you ready? Hold on. I'm almost ready. Here we go. There we oh, go. Oh, there let, it is. let me mention one more thing. Oh, oh wait, we wait, even wait, got, whoa, we got the, match graphics, too? Yeah, we it? got match graphics, too. <gasps> that, no, that, that, here, here's one oh, part thank, of the game. By the way, gets thanks to, graphics are thanks to the wrestlingrevolution.com. Antonio Garza, what a guy. Uh, he makes these great play. graphics. If a match survives three straight weeks, mm -hmm. three straight rounds, without being altered in any way, mm -hmm. it basically graduates and gets locked into like a super card, and then it opens up a slot, and we have more room to do it. We've already graduated one match, Sorg. That's Show it right. to them. Show the people. There you go. Uh, what is the Sky Pirates? Asuka, Io Shirai, and Kairi Sane versus Mia Yim, Kaylee Ray, and Tegan Knox. Oh, that'll be that good is one. the match that grabs Created one. by so, Tina Key. Created by Tina Mother Key. of Dragons. Mother Dragon herself. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, here are the rest of the matches. These are the ones that you guys are going to get the mess with here tonight. Uh, first up, we've got... Here we go. Walter versus Keith Lee, created by Mad Mike. We've got Finn Balor versus Kurt Angle, created by Ronnie Starks. Elias mm. versus Shinsuke Nakamura, created by Sorgatron. Sam Roberts versus Pat McAfee, created by my wife. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Nikki Cross, created by Ziggy Heim. Mm -hmm. And we have John Morrison versus Jordan Devlin versus Ricochet, created by... Ronnie Starks again, and Edge versus Matt Riddle, created by Chad the Shad and Sorg. I'm sorry, I forgot to add the last match graphic. We also have what? I forgot to put the last match graphic in that oracle. I Damn apologize. It. Bianca Belair versus Jazz, created by Tina yeah, Keys last that. week. That's okay, a badass match. Go so ahead. Wait a minute. I got a question. Is it like? In their prime or like as is right as now? They are as right they now. Is. Everyone right comes now. in their current physical. Emotional, contractual, pharmacological, existential, everything as they are right now is as they will be. So if someone gets suspended for 90 days, 
that does not apply to Samoa Joe. He'll be back within a week and a half of WrestleMania, so he's right. still good to go. That's right. Uh, although the concussion might be an issue. Just we'll just see. in time anyway, for that Andre Battle Royal. Just in time to not do anything. So, um, all right. Um, what are we going to do here right now? Oh, let me double check real quick. Sorg, vamp for me for a second. Yes, you can remember that uh, Mac. What's Harlan's, coming up after the show? Uh, after the show, you can uh, check out the hottest show on the internet. Okay, okay. Talking Mayhem Media. I did that right. wrong. Time I did to the do, wrong inflections. I'm sorry. Time to do the first mat. The first first move, like we said, went to our friend Brandon. He messaged it in to me a little bit earlier, and um, he trusted me to announce this move for him. And I thank him for that because he's a he's a fine yes. player and a great supporter of the show. And uh, Brandon's move is he's getting rid of Walter. Brandon, you know, hold on. Silence. Mm-hmm. Hold on, He's hold getting on. rid of Walter. Let him complete. Let him complete. And in his place facing Keith Lee, Brandon will have Cesaro versus Keith Lee. No. Ooh. All right. All right. No. All right. no. Brandon no. Cesaro. Brandon. No, Brandon. I understand, boys. Just because he makes a change to the uh, to a match does not mean you. That does not mean this match is off limits to you guys. You could still make a change to that match. But the Alex cards will will apply to no, don't let Brandon and it will let Brandon come back next week. If your move doesn't don't. survive till the end of the round, we have a rule that gives you an option to come back if you choose to. Oh, um, that gets a little bit complicated. Don't worry about that. No one's going to mess with your move. Right, Sorg? You're right. 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 Anyway, let's uh Judo. Judo, yeah, you, you want to take a crack at this? You want to make one change to this card here? Okay, yes, actually. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, don't push the mic away. It's, <laughs> it's good that Cesaro has been added in here, because I was gonna use him anyway, and then I didn't know what to do here. But I will now switch Cesaro and Nikki Cross. Okay. What? All right, wait, so what? we're gonna swap what? He's gonna swap Cesaro. For Nikki Cross. Yes. Okay. So, so Cesaro. Wait, 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 Cesaro wait, 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 no help let, in the studio. Let him, conduct, let him conduct. This is I, I live for this. I love the one for one swap. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna move. Nikki Cross is gonna face Keith Lee. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I still to, like it. I wanted her to. And have Cesaro something. will face the fiend. Eh? Uh, we're on a roll. Here we go. All right. Oh boy. All right. Oh, okay. Excellent. I like that this one, Judo. Is already a mistake. Jamie. Okay, so so can I use indie wrestlers? I would prefer you not. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm going to remove the whole entire Sam Roger, Ro- Roberts and Pat McAfee match because that right. just sounds retarded. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa you can't whoa, be hating whoa, on whoa, Pat whoa, McAfee whoa, like whoa. that. I hate Pat what? McAfee. I that, hate him so not, much. What? That, that, is it because he that, played for the Colts? Is that what it is? Now that is a well reasoned. Now Jamie, that is a well reasoned reason for you to get rid of that match. Let's mind our verbiage. All right. Anyway, let's go. I'm going to replace it with a tag team match. Here we go. Uh, 3D versus... Wait, but, wait, the Dudleys? Yes, the Dudleys. I can't let you do that. Why can't you? Bubba Ray is under contract to Ring of Honor. Is Damn it! it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Damn. But I like where your head's at. Please say heavy machinery. Yeah. Please, you're still under contract. Shut the fuck up, Judah. I want heavy machinery. <laughs> I mean, Devon's there. You want to find like an honorary Dudley to tag I with? I got him? it. Okay, here we go. Oh, All right, boy. so we're, <laughs> this is going to be messed up. We're going to put uh, Devon and Batista together. All right, now we're working. Uh, uh, now we're going back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverend. Reverend, Reverend. All right. Call <laughs> my name. Oh, boy. Versus Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Name to the test. I'll take it. We, going, we we hopping in the Wayback Machine right now. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Well, is still good, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's still. I, I love it. Good Back job. That's a beautiful. That's the kind of matches matchmaking we need more of around here. All right. <laughs> Sexy Fireman. So I would take Angle out of the Balor match. Okay. And I would put uh, Daniel Bryan in his place. Excellent. Now nah, we're working. Thank, thanks for fixing that because I didn't have an option. I like that match. Oh yeah, we. Uh... Wait, wait! You're not gonna put Brian against Angle? Sure. Just tell him to hush. Okay. All right. Just tell him to hush. Don't worry, I'll fix it next week. It'll be fine. No, we help don't from, like you. No help from the studio audience as we tell them, as we remind people every week, our players must walk alone. Right? Yeah, but I, I ignore you every week, so I'm still looking Phil? like him. You're batting cleanup. I know. Last move. Last Who chance. Will survive to make riddle. this thing right. Get rid of Riddle. Get rid uh, of Riddle. Nah, whoa. I like bro. Oh, oh, bro. Bro. No, 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 bro. bro. 
Riddle. No, bro. Uh, get rid of Riddle. Chat. Bro. All right. Put in is, there a, is there a more divisive wrestler <laughs> among wrestlers than Riddle? Bro. Like wrestlers bro. fight over Riddle all yep. the time. I hate Riddle. Really? Well, who Goldberg. hates Riddle? What's the anti-Riddle Goldberg. stance? I, I like I don't understand. You don't like hate. Riddle. Oh no, I love Riddle. You love I think Riddle. He's great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What what what's the what's the what's the Riddle hate? I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know, but like wrestlers get just get a bro, very divisive just a over Riddle. I just don't like you, you, I just say you saying you hate Riddle is like you saying you hate Brock Lesnar. Do you hate Brock Lesnar? I love Brock Lesnar. Well, then what's the I difference? They're both the shoes. It's the lack of shoes, isn't it? It is. I really hate that he doesn't wear shoes. See, I like it. I like it. It's different. It's like a Jimmy Superfly snooker style flashback you know what i'm saying I think the idea, edge versus goldberg I, I... jesus edge christ oh, all right so why do you want to edge, edge, edge in career? i did love lucha underground when i was around yeah. sure did. so yeah. i'm going to add to the devlin morrison and ricochet yeah and put isaiah swerve scott all right all right, yeah. okay. all right. Yeah. Like that. cool all right. i love it yeah okay okay because they had some wicked bangers in Lucha Underground. Swerve. Yeah, this God, is almost I, I, a total Lucha Underground match. I right can't now. wait for that to be a Grave Consequences match. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going weapons of mass destruction on this one. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Good job, boys. This is great. You guys did great. That was awesome. Um, Brandon, you know, it's always Brandon the newcomers stopped. do the best job on this. Let's recap Brandon what stopped. we got now. Mm-hmm. Brandon, uh, Brandon was terrible. Brand, Brandon oh, did a great job on. too. Brandon did fine. Brandon tried his oh, best. Um, Keith Brandon, Lee, Brandon took a shot. Directly. You know what? You know what? You know. Sometimes the process is a little bit ugly. Sometimes some feelings get hurt. Sometimes people come back and they try to seek revenge. Um, mm-hmm. That's not your problem. You know, unless you guys want to come back. You know, I mean, I'd love right, to come know. back. Yeah, we can bring you yeah, back I and mean, let you can, cause some more trouble. I got to figure out who got that. the Alex Cars rule on this one. All right. Um, <laughs> wait, I think. I think Brandon, Brandon got the Alex cards. Brandon, oh, Brandon yeah, gets to come back next week. Yeah, Brandon, what a time, man. You get to go clean up next no, week. All right. Boy. Nikki Cross is now fighting Keith <laughs> Lee. Yes! Yes! Listen, I don't know that Keith Lee can handle all that crazy. No! He's going to get his ass kicked by Nikki Cross. All right. <laughs> Finn Balor versus Daniel Bryan. Elias versus Shinsuke Nakamura. We've got Devon Reverend. Reverend. Reverend Devon. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'll, I'll specify. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I can't wait for oh, that. Oh, Garza is going to. Make for Garza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deacon yeah. Batista. He, he did. There he did go. bring up. Yeah. He did bring up the Reverend again when he had that spot with Rev in December at RWA. Yeah. So, so it's still in him. Oh yeah. Trying oh, to come yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah. The Reverend Devon and Deacon <laughs> Batista. <laughs> yes. Versus Paul London and Brian Kendrick. <laughs> the Brian Kendrick. It's the reunion I, you did really want. Uh, video online. <laughs> Hold on. What's that, Mike? I saw a video online of Seth Rollins coming out to the Reverend Devon music. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I want in life now. <laughs> All right, Matt, continue. The Fiend versus Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Jordan Devlin versus John Morrison versus Ricochet versus Isaiah Swerve Scott. Edge versus Matt Riddle and Bianca Belair versus Jazz. Sorg, I think we've got another graduated match. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check my notes. And I'm going to tell everyone if we have a graduated match coming up on Talking Mayhem Mania uh, coming up later on this Find YouTube channel and wherever you get finer things. Let's hear it for the Hossman. Yeah, good job, great guys. Guys. Oh, boy. Jamie's on his phone again. <laughs> again. <laughs> and goddamn oh, kids and their technology. Uh, and next next week playing scheduled is Chris LaRusso. Oh, we'll be back. Oh, he is a he's an old hat at this game. He's been here about he's every the, year of it. One old hat. Yeah, yeah. right. His, uh, we love Chris LaRusso. Yes. What a yes. guy. Dad. So. Yep. Dad. What dad. 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 That's like the dad. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. How many of you guys were trained by Chris LaRusso? And every one of them. Oh, oh man. No, oh, no, I want to raise my Matt, hand. Matt, too. Matt, Just put, put your hand down, Matt. Out. Daddy. No. The dad. Daddy. Whenever, whenever people, Daddy. When we do something right, we say we got trained by Chris LaRusso. When we do oh, something here wrong, we go with Sam. Al- Sam no. Whenever, whenever we do something wrong, we say we got trained by Pallet. <laughs> 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 Except for Tyler, who just says he's trained by Sam Adonis. Yes. yes. Wait, yes. What? <laughs> they, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, you did it. No, no. you did it at Revenge. You were like, oh, I got trained I by said, Sam. I never Adonis. once uttered those words. I said <laughs> yes, it as you did. a joke. Oh, Palace. no, you didn't. Tyler. Oh, no, you didn't. You told me no, that. I heard it. I did not. Oh, when Palace kills you, I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I, I made a joke. 
And now he that, was serious. And now everyone's like, <laughs> you, you just, uh, you just, uh, uh, you just not disregarded Chris and Palace as your trainers. And it's like I did not do that. You did yes, though. You did. I did yes, not. You, did. you told me. Yes, you did. You yes, he did. Under, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Adonis. I never yes, said that. You're lying. He is lying. He is lying. He is lying. Yes, you did. He's lying. I yes, would you never did. put that kind of disgrace on Sam Adonis because he would want to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Now you're gonna get killed by all three. I can't wait. Oh! You set that up at yourself. the next WrestleRex. That's called, the that's, death that's, of that's, Jason Todd. No, that, that's self-deprecation. I didn't make fun of man. It's like you're gonna be. I'm gonna be on the show. I'm like, why is this weird, this weird four-way on the card between Jason Tyler and, me and these three guys? Let me get you much trouble so you can dig your way back out, bud. The, the Hossmen are just standing in the balcony, like ha. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just ha ha! <laughs> I never said just that. Waiting yes, at the en- just waiting, never said waiting yes. at the entrance yes, with a, with did. with a bottle for afterwards. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. On brand. Hashtag on brand. Hashtag on brand. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! He hits he hits the mic with the bottle. Yeah, it's not even Christmas, guys. I gotta drive, brother. It's not even Christmas, and Chess Flux are in here. Uh, Mac Harlins. You put something in the chat, not the chat. You put something on the Facebook group uh, that is starting on it looks like the fourth. <gasps> the uh-huh. New Japan Cup. Yes. So, yes. Uh, yes. So I went. Well, you 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 tweeted something um, or message or uh, probably tweet uh, a few days ago about like <clears throat> you went you watched something went to bed and got up in time for for New Japan. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's right. Um, <clears throat> what, what night was it? Wait, where were we? Takeover was the past weekend, right? Yeah, I think yes. I, I watched the takeover two weekends ago. And New Japan was just running like they did like four straight days at Cork and mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I I watched Takeover and all that craziness that happened there. That was I good. went to that bed. Was good I wake up and it's like Shingo versus Ishii on New Japan, like the first thing I turned Oof. on, just in time for the main Oof. event at like six. Though I'm like, give me that, just, just slap hit. Hit. You elbows, are, forearms. You are living your best wrestling life right now. <laughs> I am. I am totally. Li- because for a few, for a few days there, like every day I woke up, I wouldn't have to sit through any of the prelims, no young lines, no none of that bullshit. I just wake up six six thirty, turn on the New Japan main events on, and it's just like half an hour. Watch the main event, enjoy it. It's like it was made you're for done. You. Time zones work back. in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> but but March is going to be nuts. Yeah, yeah. If any of the so, you guys watch the New Japan at all? Absolutely, you, absolutely. Yeah. My guy, um, I don't do Saito suplexes for no reason. Man. <laughs> all right, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. like next month's going to be crazy. Like they literally said wait. it on the like Kevin Kelly said on the one of the recent broadcasts. He's like, we've never had a month where we've done this many English commentary shows as we're going to do in March. Wow. They're doing they're doing a broadcast for the whole damn tournament every single day. <laughs> And so it's gonna exciting. be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. This is. I'm looking at the card here. I won't. I won't speak because the the new Japan is clearly not fully appreciated by everyone here. But Phil and I will speak privately later about. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> you'll it's have good. your own Absolutely. show. Yes. You'll have your own show talking about this. <laughs> we'll discuss it. We'll bra- we'll do the bracketology on it uh, later. Oh jeez. Yeah, but it looks great. Well, we got. Well, I mean, it's everybody in here. We got what? Well, like Cobb Maccabee is yeah. uh for, yeah, Cobb's first in it. round. There's a first round match between Okada and Jay White. Cold, <laughs> There's going to be a first round match between Osprey and Shingo which I oh, should yes. not is going to be like six stars. Cole Cabana. They cannot oh, absolutely. possibly go absolutely. less than that. Cole Cabana and Bad Luck Fale? That's going to be a classic what? also. I think one and a half stars way. probably but it's going to be classic. Oh, it's going to be so hilarious. It's going to be great. Oh, um geez. what else I'm we got trying here? to think of some they, of the other first rounders. Uh there's some good ones. There's like a um there's some good stuff in like the upper right. I think uh, they're doing a boost. Yeah, Bushi and Saber. They're doing Tanahashi and Taichi mm-hmm. on the other side of that bracket. So Jeez. there's lots of intrigue there. Sonata's um, in bro, here. Was, yep, Ibrahim he's in there. Ibrahim. That's all. It's, uh, Tenzin all the good and boys Yoshihashi. Are. Kenta. Yeah. Kenta and Kenta, Fredericks. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kenta's going to. Oh, yeah, Carl Fredericks. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. We're oh, it was you. Judo, Judo, you're not in the hospital anymore. Get it was you. What, what, what happened? What's happening? It was this, you. He's, he's been over here himself. shitting himself. <laughs> yes. And it smells god awful. <laughs> you need to quit drinking. <laughs> he's buzzed off his ass. Am right I gonna now. Have to <laughs> yes, he is. Yo, am I gonna have to throw that cherry out after this? Yes. No, I have yes. to at least freeze we're gonna, it. We're gonna have to <laughs> throw him out after this. Yes. So honestly, get him out of here. He's, he Yo, smells like shit. Get your get your <laughs> fuck. You need to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> wow. Hey, let me ask another uh, since we, since we're talking about Japanese wrestling for just a brief moment, Phil. 
Did you see the Nakanishi retirement match? Yes, I did. How awesome was it? Oh, uh, it was amazing. Yeah, it great. Was amazing. That that was dads versus sons, basically oh, yeah. four on four. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. and it was like it was like uh, well, it was like third third generation versus fourth generation, and the, one of the guys on the on the third generation team, Nakanishi, was his last match. Yeah, and it was just like the young guys just like flying around, putting them <laughs> over. It's amazing. Sick. Amazing. <laughs> it smells in here now, but <laughs> it smells so bad. Judo, it's you're so lucky bad. there's nothing in throwing distance right now. I'm so happy I stayed home. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, be lucky happy. lucky you, Ronnie. Be happy. It's disgusting. <laughs> if I come in that studio He's next Tuesday, it's right like shit. No blame. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta work here every day. Uh, oh. it, should, it should be gone soon, though. I'd rather <laughs> have Jamie playing on his phone than you shit in your pants. Hey, at least I'm engaging in the conversation. Well, yes, I'm but you didn't tell me I had to bring my gas mask. <laughs> All right, we're talking about Damn. shit. We're not talking about wrestling. Yeah, Jeez. poor Matt over there. I'm way over here. He's right next to you. I, I, can... I think the wind is going this way because I'm only catching a little bit of it, and I think you guys oh. are getting. Oh. Yeah, you're like tasting it over there. <laughs> oh. like, really. Oh. It's in my mouth. Oh, oh. that way. It's oh. bad. It's see, really see, that's why bad. I'm glad you're getting most of it, and it's just like the the, the last bit coming no, my way. Whenever I smelt it, I looked at Jamie thinking he shit himself. No, it was him. Well, I thought it was you because I caught a whiff, and I was like, "Damn!" Like one of you shit yourselves, and it's that one over there on the goddamn chair just dying. So, King Stork, you got to get a shot of that. He's buzzed off his ass just shitting himself. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what you get when you invite the hostage. Yeah. What's great Full is blown I've been laughing this hard stone sober. Yo, you are not sober. Oh, no, you're not. No, no, no. I'm not saying I am. What I'm saying no, is I would not. be laughing this hard because this game of ass whisper down the lane <laughs> has just occurred, turning everyone against each other like that. It's like a smelly game of werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I can actually smell it through my headphones. I, I would like to acknowledge Mike's lack of shit that I'm staring at him right now. <laughs> oh, this is like you had to have been there, apparently. Or prefer that you're not. Um all right. Uh, well, we should conclude the smelliest version of the Mayhem Show. Go around. <laughs> Thanks, oh. Judo. Guys, Thank you, Judo. What did you learn from this week in wrestling? Who wants to go first? I'm never trusting Judo in a car again. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Your ass is getting shit canned out the window the second you do that. Ever, ever, ever again. Yeah, I agree with Tyler. I found out that I can't take long car rides with Judo. <laughs> Because, like, the smell coming out of your asshole is just absolutely yeah, ridiculous. So I feel like this is the only way we can end a Hossman episode of the Indie Mayhem or Wrestling Mayhem show is just berating Judo for his smelly ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, all I know is I'm not going to invite Judo on a car ride with us. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Is there anything non smell related that you guys learned this week? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I've oh. learned. I learned that weighing 220 pounds is way different than weighing 290 pounds. Mm -hmm. Found out that I can do my first double step moonsault. Nice. 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 Fireman? The fans love my titties. Just saying. <laughs> At IWC, I did a motorboat and I took my titties out and the fans went fucking nuts I for it. I love, I love how we go from ass smelling like roadkill to fireman's I like big titties just everywhere. Like, hey, I can do a moonsault now. And then a, a, a Tyler, fireman's yeah. just, like, hey, guess what move I Look, now. what yeah. I don't make up for in Sorg, physical... I, uh, I learned that people love his titties, apparently. <laughs> what I don't make up for in physical fitness, I make up in for being sexy. And my titties are probably better than half the chicks oh in this god. fucking... <laughs> oh my god. Sadly. Oh, but, oh dear Jesus. I got some good titties, and the fans liked it. So, you know, <laughs> that's all that matters. All right. All right. Yeah, Tyler, gonna... it would probably boost the ratings if you just whip them out on camera. Right? Uh, Absolutely. I'm just going to in, 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 invite is, Tyler so to uh, uh, a custom video producer after this show. Absolutely uh, not. <laughs> we'll set up the OnlyFans. It'll be great. Only I, fans. I don't know what's worse, the stench still or the thought of his titties. <laughs> uh, Judah, what did you learn? <laughs> 
Apparently, my ass can kill a man. From that's, wrestling. That's interesting. <laughs> Is that your new move? <laughs> oh, that's a whole new version of a stink face, ain't it? I though? mean, uh, it worked for both Jesus Don Christ and Jesus. Kuma in Tekken, so. Okay. Should work. Anyway. Um, from wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> Mom, I really hope you're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I learned that uh, I still have a fair bit to go before I'm ever hitting a Phoenix Splash. Learn that. Learn that real hard. Okay. All right. Matt, what about you? I learned that wrestlers either hate Matt Riddle or they love Matt Riddle. Hate. Love. 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 Sometimes in the same fashion. Bro Stallion, man. Sometimes. It it tears families apart. (laughs) Tears wrestling families apart. We'll still still be a family, guys. It's okay. (laughs) It's just I know when bro's on, Jimmy got to leave the room. On the line, uh, what'd you guys learn? Ronnie? Huh? What'd you learn? Other than- oh, I, I learned that uh, people love sexy fireman's titties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you might get to see some on Sunday, boy. Hey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the titties, pal. I'm, I'm going to wow. pass. Whoa. Unless you're going to be forward a little bit, then, you know, well, then we'll talk business. Some special moments going to happen at Black Diamond Wrestling. Yeah, don't Sunday. miss Black Diamond Whoa. Wrestling in Whoa. Benwood, West Virginia. My tits are coming out. <laughs> 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 there is no commission. Titties are coming out. <laughs> oh boy! And there is no well, law here. It, there is no this laws is, in West Virginia on our oh, on our no. Marty on our Mardi Gras episodes. So I better bring the call on Sunday. Then we'll get some laws. Jeez, uh, Mad Mike, what about you? I I learned that Bianca Belair is one of the only wrestlers that can interrupt a match, cut an entire promo, and not a disqualification will be called. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That happened. Oh, Who's tapping the mic? <laughs> All right, here we go. Chat room, Sorg? Uh, chat room. Wait, wait, Dave Podner oh, okay. learned that uh, Mayor Bike Lane Billy is the ultimate heel. Yes. Our Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tina Keys learned there has to be a John Moxley or Darby Allen's children book down the line if an Adam Page one has just been announced. I, so, I'm, I, okay. I'm all for the Darby Allen children's book. Oh, yeah. He's one Adam of my, he's one of my to... 10-year-old son loves Darby Allen. Really? Yeah, he thinks he's great. Is the Adam Page children's book just daddy's going for a beer? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's it's a counting book. One beer, book. two beer, three <laughs> yeah. beer. Okay. Uh, Daniel Towery learned um, this week uh, referees can be biased sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Alex Carr's learned that we are just a few days away from lethal leap year. God damn! Yeah, I, I, hope monster. Gets, I hope Big Bartholomew gets that. Swamp Big Bartholomew, back. he's gonna get the farm back. <laughs> Wait, what do you? What do you? What did you cross out there? I crossed out once in a lethal leap, leap year. year. That's lethal, right. Because lethal leap year sounds better. It's That's got right. alliteration. It just sounds nicer. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do they not name Saturday Show Lethal Leap Year? I, I have a, I have a I grudge. Now. I, I have a I'm very big grudge about that. Sure it's I, 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 I campaigned, I mean, man. I mean, once well, in a leap year is pretty good too. But I mean, I agree. Like Lethal does kind of sound a little bit better. You, you know what? Guess what? We're doing a Lethal Leap Year on Friday for a gaming thing at the studio, mm-hmm. and it's going to be a real Lethal Leap Year. And I'm going to do a stupid gimmick the entire freaking show. <laughs> nice. Wait, you are. Oh yeah, so surprise. it's like every episode of oh, this show. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm bringing old school wrestling games for that night. Thank oh, you. Boy. Yes, uh, and I'm going to see if I can get uh, Akia Evolution working uh, on an emulator for you guys. Nice. Sorg, are you bringing them Crush Hour? Ooh, no, don't you dare go. I, maybe All I will right. now. Mm. I remember as a kid, I went over to my friend Robbie's house and we would play that Crush Hour on the uh, GameCube. And it was like my favorite thing ever. And dude, I Crush Hour? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Dude, I love that I game. Need, dude, that I, is I, such a good game. I was at the exchange and I found it for PS2. Yeah. But I can't get my PS2 to work. So oh. I gotta. Bro, just go oh. buy a new one. I will buy a new one. Well, isn't the PS5 supposed to be backwards capability? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if I get a PS5. Yeah. those retro con systems or whatever they're called. Brock Lesnar has a twisty rocket. <laughs> 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 That's how um, JR sounds on commentary. Annihilation. Now, it works. Uh, I learned this weekend. Kenny he- Omega has the Annihilator. <laughs> <laughs> I learned uh, be nice to everybody at a wrestling show because you never know who you may be actually talking to. Mm-hmm. Just going to put that out there. Guys, Hosman, 
Thank you so much for joining us. We almost got them all in one shot here. Uh, Your camera is going to be neat. Uh, be wider than that. To yes, get there you go. Oh wait, wait! You just got, you're just got, plugging the merch. We got now. shirts. They got I can shirts. Plug the merch. This is nice looking shirt. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, try and get it in frame. Don't get it on the mic. It's down, 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 down. 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 There you go. There you go. Fucking idiot. I will take the oh, <laughs> <laughs> See the screen, Jamie. <laughs> Somebody, uh, somebody, bring me one of them shirts on Sunday. And there also, you, go. you got twenty five sure, bucks. Be sure to attend Hostile <laughs> Pro Wrestling presents Lethal Leap Year <laughs> this Saturday at the Worthington Civic Center. That's Hostile Pro Wrestling. Also, Sir, also known in some circles as to, uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, once in a leap year as well. Depends on which search engine you're using. Stevie we, smells like shit. Uh, it's right. <laughs> Absolutely. It hasn't been refreshing. It. I, you, you've still got residual. I choose to believe it's just it's, trapped in your It's just in point. your nose now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Stevie LaBelle, Jamie Jameson, Sexy Fireman. <laughs> you're the only one I don't give a real name. <laughs> it's, and Philip Archer, Ronnie Starks. Hello. Uh, Mad Mike. Dick diggity, dick diggity dog. Thank you, Mainstream Matt. Good night, everybody. And thank you, everybody. We'll be back. Uh, keep an eye out again. The Miles Monroe interview will be coming up uh, later this week on the Indie Mayhem Show. Subscription and uh, look out Friday night for it'll be Brohemoth Invitational, Lethal Leap Year, and uh, some other stuff I'll be filming for the weekend. And, of course, the Indie Wrestling.us crew will be out at Prospect Pro Wrestling as well as Black Diamond Wrestling. Go check that out and check out all the dates up to your area at PittsburghWrestling.com. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.